Welcome back, guys, to Scarlet Nexus, where, of course, both routes are now complete. So it's time to do a little bit of clear up of the quests and finish the game absolutely fully. I'm very near the Platinum Trophy. Is my hair clip dirty? But my hair clip might be dirty, so that's a problem. Because after doing two routes through, you don't have to worry about difficult levels or whatnot. You are pretty much goal for most of the stuff. So I'm going to do the quest, which Use my power when you need some defense. doesn't require me to actually do it for any achievements. Then we might do some weird things like lose ourselves in Brainfield. Let's see what that looks like. But first of all, let's clear out what's remaining of the content. I feel like the chinneries are more active lately. It's not enough to put in a forecast, but it worries me. You're SF, right? This is just based on my gut instinct, but could you take them down as fast as possible? I know I asked you for help, but maybe you could get a helping hand yourself from one of your allies. And so that will give us Brainfield Gear 1 SAS Refueling Drink 1. That might have been not a post-game quest, because I was thinking I was missing one. Thanks, there's a Scarlet Guardian for you. Forecaster's Hunch has been obtained. There's also another quest here in Masubis. So we'll go get that one as well. And then set off for some fighting. I have nightmares every night. Boxes I shouldn't open, long arms, a shining, slimy body. Could you take care of the other for me? It's too terrifying for me to speak about. This is Barista Santa's. I think some kind of powerful long-range attack would work. Combat experience exists. You'll do it. Now I'll be free from my nightmares, I hope. An assist indeed. The other in a dream. So for these two quests, we need to take on... Now, of course, we can switch between Yuato and Kazano wherever we want. The quest lists have been completely filled. We could just do that at the hideout as well. We just instantly switch it over. They've gone to the top of the list. Forecaster's Hunch is a winnery chinnery. Combo vision with Sugumi. And Saliva Santa's for combat experience assist. That's with SES Psychokinesis active. Well, I know a place where I can probably easily take them out. So let's go on the way. So with Saliva Sand is all around and Psychokinesis is on. It's not a <laughs> Let's jump in. Power. To get a quick KO, he's saying. But it might not happen this rate. Yeah, I'm good, thanks. Just about in time. Hit that guy out deal. while everyone else was filling attacking me from range. That wasn't too good for me. But Saliva Sand is defeated. It's very easy when we just have the ability on and not have to deal with anything else. Combat experience assist was obtained. Which does what for us? Enhanced crash. Just gives us more experience, right? I didn't have one of these before now. 5% experience obtained. Experience bonus plugin. Increase the user's experience points obtained. Not bad. I'll take it. We need to... I might try to fill out my brain map at some point in time. But with that quest done, now it's time for me to find a winnery chittery. So, with a winnery chinnery being slowly but surely whittled down, we've got to worry about accidentally killing it. Because we need to get a combo vision with Sugumi. And that... Go ahead and use my power, Kasane. You got this. It's going to be a little job, harder the enemy lost sight than you'd think. I don't want to do that, that's for sure. No, 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 no. Can't help me, Gamma. Don't, don't attack. Evasive maneuvers, everyone. We're all stealthed. It's down on the ground. We're fine with this. Because yet again, it's another case where I have to wield down a high-level monster. Let's keep going. Not a very high damaging skill. So with that done, Forecaster's Hunch is complete. My inventory is full, of course. So with those two quests completed, let's go back and pick up some others, shall we? We haven't got the post-game weapon quests on the roll, so let's finally get those going. We're going to Suo City! Took a while just to whittle all those guys down. I accidentally killed the first one I was going for. But there is a quest right here. I worked to produce art projects and we had an issue come up with our exhibition. 
Some troubles from others are interfering with the transportation of the pieces. Do you think you can suppress them for us? I want the exhibit on the legendary artist Aki Shiroyama to be successful. I want his works to reach as many people as possible. Phantom art catfish will be obtained. Thank you very much. Just what you'd expect from a Scarlet Guardian. There was not much I could do to repay you. Shiroyama's works are truly spectacular. I'm a fan myself, so I'm honored to be able to put on this exhibit. It's just that there isn't much information on them that's been left behind. Although I love that mysterious aspect as well. Hold the exhibition! What do we actually have to do for the quest though is the question. Defeat freeze session pounds with SAS Electrokinesis active. That's pretty easily. In midair, defeat free rainy Rumi. Let's go off and do it. So with one more session found to come in. We're critical. That'll be easy as pie. And that's the three of them. Defeated without any issue whatsoever. Because we're stuck with Rodda at the critical. The session pounds don't stand a chance. So now it's all about those Rainy Rummy. And so with our quest to defeat three Rainy Rummy in midair, it's pretty easy because all we have to do is a little bit of juggling. I'm going to put on this to make sure I can't get shot. So all we have to do is knock them up. What do you want to do? Bash them a little bit. You can trust me. And that's quest complete. Check me. So with that done, down and out, and lots of other enemies appear, and I retreat. Our first one for the exhibition. A phantom art catfish is obtained. And now we return to town post haste, running away from our foes to be able to walk back. Let's see what goodies we're actually going to get. I see. We're pushing ahead. Well, actually, we're pushing back. It's all about your perspective. Let's go to the OSF training facility. Well, there is a shop just outside it. But the reason I'm coming here is there is another quest right here. Massively created weapons from the soul transcend mere tools for art. They're wonderful works of art, don't you think? I've gathered information and tested all sorts of weapons, but I recently heard a rumor about a series of phantom weapons. If you want to find out more, let me test and see if you're worthy of such information. A simple other suppression should be easy enough for you. Phantom art horse. Ah, so you are a fellow weapon enthusiast. I'm happy to have more like-minded people around. If you're able to suppress the others successfully, I'll tell you everything I know about the phantom weapons. Enchanted by Weapons has begun. So for this quest... As it scrolls us all the way down to the bottom, we need to use SAS Hyper Velocity to defeat two Grignons, or more to the point, have it when two Grignons are ready to be defeated, and with a perfect dodge attack, defeat four Vase Paws. The second one's a bit more the interesting one of those two scenarios. <laughs> Right, let's head out here and go to the nearby shop. Pick up our first weapon, don't you think? So, certain things done here and there. All of Kasane's squad has their stuff, so Yuto's squad are... The ones waiting to get theirs. Who is the one that gets? Oh, it's Kasane squad they're waiting to get theirs. What am I talking about? Guess I'm flipped around from what's been going on. It was Sheedan's weapon, Karnen. It's a baton with unmatched beauty and technology. The catfish motif depicts the species' high sensitivity. Some even emit electrical currents. Someone who conducts electricity like Sheedan should know the applications of such a weapon. And his new weapon is made equipped and ready. Well, first of all, let's go to Yuito's weapon, which is what I was thinking about, and make him the Atori, because we have the Phantom Art Phoenix and Moth complete in the game. In fact, we have two. Atori is said to be made by a legendary artisan who gave his life to his trade. The Phoenix is the motif of this weapon. It represents multiple living beings in one perfect for someone who embrace many different characteristics. And that is Yuito's ultimate weapon made. You can see it on his back. Let me know. That's a bit of a design, isn't it? Look at that. 
One hell of a scabbard. The sword is less over-designed. You kind of expect that. It needs to be functional as a sword. Well, that's scabbard. That's sheath. It's kind of ridiculous. Sheedon's weapon, however... Only has a little bit of gold on the handle. I guess you don't really, again, want to interrupt too much with the weaponry itself. But gold's a good conductor, isn't it? Alright, let's pop off and do our quest. And so with our enemy, a Grignon, attempting to kill us, I've already got one. All we have to do is have the hyper-velocity on. Let's go, so with that in mind, you can, trust me. we can use our ridiculously powerful critical attacks. Ah! The two of us can do this! Let's go, Kagero. Knock it down. Put it on the hyper velocity. And finish it like this. Stay down. Easily get the KO. A little bit of running out of things in the meantime, wasn't it? So with that, we need to go get our field of flowers and get them with counter attacks. Let's go find some of them. Base paws. So, a vase ball currently being attacked. Oh, I don't want to do that. We have to get perfect counters. But first of all, we've got to chip it down a little bit more. To do a perfect dodge finish. Four of them's what you need to do. A little bit of patience. There's a resource reading near here. I'll sort things out do? any issue whatsoever. So, that is obtained. That is Phantom Art Horse. And I think I might head back to the hideout to get that item. The other reason I'm heading back to the hideout is supposedly I need to buy like 100 attachments to get a trophy. Plus wear one attachment to get a trophy. Plus wear a certain set of attachments to get a trophy. So I'm going to see if that's feasible to do before we find ourselves our next quest. So with the weapon now able to be exchanged... Whose was it? It is Arashi's Ayame. Ayame is a chainsaw said to be made by a sculptor who had pursued beauty and strength. The horse motif looks both beautiful and swift. It's as if this weapon was made in the image of Arashi. Saying Arashi looks like a horse. Seems a bit risky. Golden chainsaw. Looking nice. You can see the horse designed on it as well. That leaves two more weapons for us to get. So before I go get another quest, I'm going to see if I can sort out some stuff with attachments. So now after buying 100 attachments for one trophy, equipping one attachment for another trophy, and then a hidden secret trophy, as you can see, we've now equipped everyone with Bucky Heads. They all look weird. They all look really random. Everyone's just in Bucky Heads, just like, oh, why do we have to do this? Why do we have to suffer? <laughs> It is the meme. And now we're going to do an even more vague trophy, which is supposedly to stand in front of these posters for 30 seconds. Yes, this is a trophy in this game. I don't know why, and I don't know if anything happens for standing in front of here for X amount of seconds. Maybe the posters come and attack me or something. I have no actual clue why you would do this or why this is a thing supposedly that does get me a trophy there doesn't seem to be any prompt any ding anything like that but if i press this i probably now just have a trophy called protect stopped in front of the osf poster in the hideout yeah that, that just happened but that's a trophy too the weird trophies this game, basing around attachments and whatnot. That's like four attachment, four trophies in no time at all. And I'm at 92% done. So with that said, we head out to pick ourselves up another quest. Let's go with our weird headgear in tow to the OSF hospital. <laughs> Wearing these heads that are incredibly hard to fight with, surely. Hello, we're not weird, honestly. We're we're OSF, crack squad. I'm writing a report for school on a favorite artist. I'm doing mine on Aki Shirayama, obviously. But there isn't a lot of material on him left. Apparently, he did many themes on powers. Would you mind demonstrating your powers for me? Let's see, going invisible would be pretty exciting. 
Phantom Art Lizard. Thank you. I'll tag along and watch you. You really can do anything with powers. Haki Shiram may ha might have drawn a lot of inspiration watching all sort of psionics. Can't really watch someone who's invisible though, can you? That's not really a possibility. Help with a report. So what do you want me to do while I dress in the weird stuff? While SAS Invisibility is active, defeat free base paws. And with Brain Crush, defeat free source paws. Sure, I'm going to find out where the hell they are and go and fight. It's hard to fight like this. Use SAS to pin down the location of the other creators. Useless. It's over. Getting the smoke. So this quest ends up being really quite easy when you think about it. You can trust me. Because with invisibility on, we can instantly get a break. Check this. Like and then smash the target. So source paws and pretty much control. everything with this combo is dead instantly. Now I need to find base paws. <laughs> Turns out I got completely the wrong opponent. For my invisibility quest, the other ones were the ones that need to be brain crushed as I get completely destroyed here. Please, Luca. I need to stop Let's talking get and get to the actual fighting, otherwise we're doomed. That seems to be the spot. Together, here we go. So what I have to do huh? is go so invisible during the point in time where I kill these guys. Go, you can trust me. I'll do it. Check me. That was good. And then life is good. Not quite as good as me, though. Looks like invisibility is still on. Slowly go invisible. And brain crush him. I thought it was the other way around. But it turned out to be exactly that way around. Completely wrong. Who'd have guessed? So with that done, Phantom Art Lizard is complete. Even in our silly... Backy Helms, which probably impeded my IQ quite a bit. I've got to say, my reading comprehension was destroyed. But now we can exchange for a new weapon. And that will be Cargo's, right? It's a key. However, we pronounce that. It was made by an artisan who devoted his wet life to weapon making. The motif depicts how a lizard moves silently and dexterously. Gargoyle moves like a lizard sneaking up on unsuspecting enemies and quickly ending their lives. I'm not sure some of that, like descriptions like that are all that flattering when I think about it. So, Gargoyle's new weapon. While he looks so silly. Just like that. Nice gold designed pattern daggers. For throwing and stabbing. I guess it's time to go get Kyoka's quest. Which I will do while I take off these silly helmets. And so we come to our final quest of both routes. Our final weapon for Kyoka. Do you know the great artist Akishiliyama? I was deeply inspired by his work and joined an art appreciation group because of him. I've taken in every one of his existing works, but I want to understand the master's art on a deeper level. The artist left behind many works inspired by others. As scary as it be, I'd love to see an other suppression up close. What do we have to do for Phantom Art Honey Bee? Really? Thank you very much. I'll just be watching you. Don't pay me any mind. The artist's work is so amazing. Such beauty and power. Just looking at them transforms you. I want to learn more. Our final quest of the playthrough is to do what? Oh no, Psychokinesis follow attack, defeating two winnery chinneries. <laughs> and while SAS duplication is active, defeat two jutty chinneries. Off we go then, lots of chinnery killing. So with my jutty chinnery target and my winnery chinnery target, both there with two different quests for me to kill, the jutty chinnery is very easy because I all we have to do is have duplication on. Okay, so that one off. attack is enough to do the job. However, this one I have to kill with a different method to a certain extent. The Psychokinesis follow-up attack. I've done one, but this is like my fifth attempt on getting another one done. Because you just kill it by accident, pretty much. Every time. I ever just do slightly less damage than I'm supposed to do. We have some other method of not doing enough damage. You can trust me. 
So, for example, if I had a hit here and follow up attack here, that would do a critical, but it won't do enough. You got this. I can follow that up with another one, hopefully. But the problem is, he just doesn't die at the right time. And now I'm probably going to kill it with my next tap. Go on, hit it. Yay, I got it. Oh my goodness, that took so many tries because I was just hitting it with like small margins of HP to take him down. So that was both of them done in nice one sweep. Want to learn more is complete. Phantom Art Honeybee is obtained. Let's go get Kyoka her weapon. That is every quest in Scarlet Nexus now complete. Okay. So, weapons. Scroll it down. And we can now have the Huga. Huga is a crossbow made by an artist who dedicated their life to creating weapons. Its motif is of a honeybee, often appearing docile. A bee is fearless if it has to fight. Kyoka could use this to attack like a swarm of bees. Luckily, I had the Dispin Fisher analysis, which of course is a boss analysis, so I can not have it. And then while I jump out the wrong way to get to the equipment screen, we can see our nice new weapon is a nice golden crossbow. Even golden stringed as well. So everyone has their ultimate weapon at this point in time. So there's a couple of remaining achievements to do in the game. One of them is get the uh, free man brain crash in one go, which somehow... I still haven't done. One of them is, of course, to get to go into brain field and just let the time run out. And another one is to get revived by a teammate. So, should we see what those look like at the very least? Get those three done as three last things. The other one is the entire brain map. And then I've platinum the game pretty much live on camera. So that's pretty cool. That'd be my first platinum in a let's play ever. My first full achievement trophies. So let's go and do those things. It's not over yet. Let's focus. I have to do something. We need to regroup. Some are close to their limit. It's not over yet. Kasane. Good. It looks like you're okay. Thanks. Sorry for the trouble. Hey, now we've seen the revive by a teammate for the first time. I'm not done yet. So now I've got to dive into a brain field and go down that way. So, if that is my thing to do here, let's just heal up a little bit, dodge around while my teammates who res me up are completely dead on the ground. I have no other choice. And get to work. Now all we gotta do is let the timer run out, and this will be all I need. I'll track you down and kill you. So at 38 seconds remaining, I may as well revive my teammates. <laughs> No reason to leave them out of it if we're waiting for the timer to run down fully. You're gonna stop me. I feel power bubbling up inside me. I wonder if it will show any cool cutscene or any difference, but it was nice to get revived by the teammate. Let me support you. No, don't support me! Let me die! I'll track you down and kill you! You did revive me a second ago, so I'm very grateful for it. But we wanna see what this looks like. <laughs> It won't be a problem if we can buy our power. My teammates just will not let this run out. <laughs> My head feels clear. Cause I don't overdo it. Wow, how many people can I actually get to help me in one brain field? I'll track you down and kill you. This is what friends are for. They won't let me die, which is kind of nice. The trash needs to be taken out. It would have been nice if this happened constantly at other times, but I'm not trying to literally let the timer run out. Kill you. Know your place, you nobody. You can hear the laughing, the overconfidence of the character. Five seconds. <laughs> and the countdown into nothingness Track begins. You kill you. And you still even have a chance to get over there. 
That's surprising. You have more than enough time to get out of that. But that is another trophy obtained. So that leaves just the crushes. And the full brain tree, which is a lot of grinding. And so after a little while grinding, I finally have my character all the way up to level 79. Though it does seem to be level 80 we need to get to, and I'm one run from the optimum seems leveling location, or at least it's very easy to walk through and smash these enemies in the blink of an eye to get the experience as fast as possible by the look of things. So I like it. I've been doing it. And I'll show you what I've been doing while we also get ourselves the triple crush. Because I think this is the area in which I can get this to. I trust you, Kasane. Let's go, Kyoka. Leave nothing. Exploding others are a real pain. Let's get to work. In what I consider an efficient fashion, double crush. Ah, oh, single crush. Because you have to wait for him to go down. Trust me on this, though. I know what I'm doing. You got this. I'm missing more targets than I want at the moment. Now look at all these buddies. That seems to be the spot. No, don't ruin my crushing. There they go. They're all on the ground. Useless. Triple crash. I was a bit worried that I was going to mess everything up then. It turned out in the end, I was completely fine. There was a triple crush in there, honest. <laughs> so I was worried when they started exploding, but thankfully they were already crushed. You can just gather them up there nice and easy. And go to work based on it. You got this. Well, this isn't my most optimum run. By any means. You can see the enemies are taking out the blink of an eye with the abilities I have available to me. And smash to start getting experience. Speaking of experience, we should barely be just under the threshold for an excellent brain as well. And our final trophy, seeing we just got that one, to finish it up. If you might have already guessed, I did get that trophy before by just fighting there normally to grind. It just happened. So that's how I did it. Essentially, you can quite a bit need to take out the second pack of those exploding guys and then just electric shock the entire pack of five and break them that way and then take out five, which causes some slowdown in the game, which is interesting. <sighs> I can't deal with multiple brain crushes at once, it seems. Can do this. We'll corner it. Don't fail. Let's do this. All right, let's get my last experience. Useless. It's over. only one real other. We can see the power combination that allows me to just walk through this with the greatest of these and also keep charged up as well. It's pretty nice. You got this. So this isn't the uh, the most smooth it's been. Essentially, you build up brain drive. You get this about here, and then you can smash through the bigger enemies that spawn in this section with the greatest of ease, and of course, ignore the damage from the exploders. While building up to uh, okay. Multiply. And in the meantime, be completely fair to it. It's just a bit easy, repetitive. Something you can really build yourself up into. Let's keep going. Now that will be all the experience we need. So with that done, we should have got level 80 during that. I know the prompt appeared, but I was too busy actually fighting to get there. But Kasane is now level 80, which allows her to get the final node on the brain map because unfortunately once you get to a higher level in the tens there it just goes down to two bp a point so it took more than the current bp gen i was getting i was thinking i'd be done at level 78 but it turned out to be 80. can perform two consecutive aerial follow-up attacks more than the point that is now a beautiful 
brain map. Probably not max level, but to be honest, you've got all your max skill points. You've got everything there. That is a beautiful brain. So with that said, I will bring up this list of weirdly official news. And find the trophy of a Roman Red Freds. Which is 100% obtained all trophies has been done. The first time I've done that in any Let's Play. Not only did we go both routes because, of course, the story differences. Or more to the point, the story filling in. Not so much differences, but the different sections of the game we could go through. Not only did we do that, but I just went for the 100%. That's the first Platinum I've actually ever got on a PlayStation console. Which is random to me, I must admit. So that has been the entirety of Scarlet Nexus. Played in 70 hours of grinding, story, fun action combat, and more. I've already kind of shared my views what I think of the game, but I really, 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 really actually do hope that it gets a sequel or some more stuff comes out of the uh, the guys who made it, the, the one specifically within Bandai Namco. We're using the engine and more. The style that it has, it runs really well. It looks really good. Like, some of the presentation was top tier for gaming as far as I'm concerned. Especially, like, just the whole end battle bosses and sequence and all that going on. Pretty high class for a new IP, which is always the hardest thing for gaming to go into nowadays. Of course, brand names, those recognition is what, what really sells for the most part. I think this was great. A very fun experience. A game that came out of left field for a lot of people, like, didn't actually hear about it in most senses. A game that's just been a joy to play. Very fun indeed. Though, I do personally think that I would prefer a one-story route game with no post-game, because that's how I like my games in general. Longer story, cut out your post-game, maybe have an epilogue, tell, at least allow people to know what's going on afterwards, because I always like a little bit of an epilogue. But just being able to get everything in one playthrough, it's what I like. But that said, I very much enjoyed everything about it. Presentation. So that has been Scarlet Nexus completed both routes and a platinum trophy. I will see you guys whatever let's play we do in the future. If this game gets DLC and if it gets a sequel, I'll be there for it too. But hopefully you'll keep on watching. And hopefully you enjoyed. Thanks for seeing out another let's play. And for the final time, I will say bye bye.